Welcome to another story with Mummy Imagination. Now it's time for bed and it's time to relax. I want you to get into your most comfortable position. Making sure everything is nice and cosy around you. Now that you're in your most comfy position, I want you to take a deep breath in and let a deep breath out. One more deep breath in and out again. Now it's time for today's story, Bella the Elephant. Bella was a really cute elephant and she lived on the grassy plains of Africa. The sun in Africa was always very, very hot. How can I keep cool, mother? asked baby elephant. I'll show you, replied Bella's mother. The mother elephant squirted water all over her back with her trunk and Bella copied her. This is fun, giggled the youngster, filling her trunk again and again and enjoying more cool showers. Then Bella's brother Ben, he joined her in the fun. He squirted a trunk full of water at his sister and she squirted him back. This is even more fun, she chuckled. Bella wanted to squirt more water, but the other elephants, they had gone home. Then a big growl came. It was a lion who had paddled down to the watering hole, looking for a cool drink. This lion was very fierce. Do you want a water fight, Mr. Lion? asked Bella, squirting him in the face. I hate getting wet, roared the lion. How dare you mess with the king of beasts? The lion started chasing Bella. I only wanted to play, she called. The big cat took no notice. He was too angry, snarly and gnashing his teeth together he bounded after her Bella was very frightened luckily Bella's family was watching and came to her rescue the elephants chased the lion away lions do not like to play with water said her mother and I'm very very glad he didn't hurt you But Bella was upset and she started to wander off alone. She started to smell something horrid. It was the smell of burning. Under the blazing sun, the dry glass grassland had started to catch fire. Bella had seen fire before. She knew that rain put it out. I must make it rain, thought Bella. So she filled her trunk with water. The brave little elephant squirted water all over the raging fire and the flames began to die down. Hooray, look, the fire's out, cheered Bella. The other animals saw what Bella had done. They came crowding round to thank her. You're such a clever elephant, trumpeted her mother. You've saved us all from the greatest danger. Even the king of beasts was happy. He gave a big smile. I'm sorry I chased you, Bella, he chuckled. Now I'm really glad you like squirting water out of your trunk. Bella 
her mother, her brother, and the lion spent all afternoon playing in the water from Ballast Trunk. And that's the end of the story. Now, it's time for you to go to bed. If you're still listening, we're going to play some music and that should help you nod off and get a good night's sleep and dream of wonderful things, pretty princesses, gorgeous ponies and magical kingdoms. And you're going to wake up tomorrow and have the best day ever. Good night.